Interview with being Reptiloid Lacerta. Who are you first and what do you? Are you a species alien or your origin on this planet? As you can see with your own eyes, I'm not a human being like you, and to be, to be honest, I'm not any mammal. I am a reptilian being, female, belonging to a reptilian race, very old. We are the natives of the earth, and we stay in this planet for millions of years. We appear in your religious scriptures, in his Christian Bible, and in many of the ancient human tribes that were aware of our presence and that we were worshipped as gods. For example, the Egyptians, the Incas, and many other old tribes. Your religion, Christian, misunderstood a role in his creation, since we appear like the evil serpent in its scriptures. This is wrong. Sioux race was genetically engineered by aliens, and we were the more passive visitors to the accelerated process of evolution. You should know that uh, some of your scientists have already thought this species have evolved at a natural speed and completely impossible within the last two, three million years. This is completely impossible because the evolution is a much slower process if it is done naturally. But you do not understand this. His creation is artificial and engineered genetic, but not by us but by an extraterrestrial species. If you ask if I am an alien, I must answer no. We are natives of the Earth. We had and we have some colonies in the solar system, but we are originally from this planet. This is actually our planet and not the yours was never yours. Can you tell me your name? This is difficult because your human tongue cannot pronounce it correctly, and the pronunciation of our names is very offensive to one of my kind. Our language is very different from yours, but I will try to say my name with the use of human letters, which is something like with the strong pronunciation and the sounds of the G-H and K. We do not have no first name like you. We only have a simple and unique name that is divided and is characterized by the way of speaking and which is not given to children who they have a proper name for boys out, but they only get this one in a procedure special in adolescence, in moment of the maturity of knowledge, religious or scientific. I son unsighted, which is like you, they call it unappreciated if you don't say my real name with his human language. By please call me Lakerta, this is the name that I generally use when I'm among humans and I talk to they. This is the name uh, that I generally use when I'm among humans and I talk to they. Uh, this is the name that I generally use when I'm among humans and I talk to they. How old are you? We don't measure time like you in astronomical years and the back from the Earth around the sun because we normally live under the planet's surface. Our measure time depends on uh, newspapers, field return cycles, Earth's magnetic, and according to this said with their numbers, me today, is that with their numbers, I mean today, let me calculate, I have 57,653 cycles old. I have reached my adult stage, and knowledge makes 16,337 cycles. This is a very important date for us. According to your human time scale, I, I am around 28 years old. What is your task? Do you have a work like us? To say it with his words. I am a student of curiosities of the social conduct of its kind. For this I'm here and I'm talking to you and I've revealed my true nature to EF and now to you. And that's the reason why what I, what I give you all this secret information and why me, I will try to answer all the questions from its many sheets of paper, honestly. I'll see how it reacts, how others in his class react. There is so many crazy and liars of his kind in this planet who – demand to know the truth from us about UFOs, about aliens, and so on, and some of you believe your lies. I am interested to know how your species will react if you tell them the truth. What will I tell you now, publicly? I'm pretty sure that many of you will refuse to believe my words, but I hope I'm wrong because they need to understand this if they want to survive the next few years. I have read your entire statement what is given to EF about this, but maybe give me now just a short answer. Are UFOs piloted by aliens or belong to their species? Some UFO observations of like you call them along us at most of the mysterious flying objects from the sky. They are not technological devices. They are mainly, according to my interpretations, natural phenomena 
that your scientists don't understand how the spontaneous plasma flare on the high in the atmosphere. So, however, some UFOs are tech that belongs to its own species on everything to your army or other species from aliens, or lastly to we. But a minority of these sightings really belongs to U.S. because we generally have be very careful with our movements in the atmosphere in special ways to hide our ships. If you read a report on a sighting of a metallic and cylindrical object with cigar shape and formed by gray luminosity with a length of, uh, hey, different types, let me say between 20 and 260 of its meters, and if this object would have made a very buzzing sound deep, and, and if it had five red lights luminous on the metal surface of the cigar, one at the top one at the medium, and two at the end, and then it is likely any of you find seeing one of our ships. And this means that someone from us does not. He was careful enough. Also, we have a very small fleet of ships shaped like disks. But such UFOs, they normally belong to another species of... Aliens, triangular UFOs generally belong to their own army, which uh, manufactures them with technology alien. If you really wants to try to see one of our fleet... You must look at the skies above Arctic, Antarctic, and above internal Asia, especially above mountains there. Do you have a special symbol or something, so why allow us to identify your race? We have two major symbols that represent our species. One, the older A, is a blue snake with four white wings on a black background. Colors have meanings religious for us. This symbol was used in certain parts of my society, but very rarely today. You humans have copied it very often in his old scriptures. The other symbol is a mystical being that you would call dragon in the shape of a circle with seven white stars in the middle. This symbol is much more common today. Yes. Yeah. You see one of the symbols in one cylindrical fleet, as I described in my previous answer or in any underground facility, this thing or the place definitely belongs to, we and I would advise you to will leave as soon as possible from there. The seven stars in the second of your symbol mentioned mean Pleiades? Pleiades? No. Really, seven stars are planets and moons. And they are linked to our seven colonies previous in the solar system. The stars are shown in front of a blue dragon in circle background, which means the shape of the Earth. The seven white stars, the bad moon, Mars, Venus, and four moons of Jupiter and Saturn, which we had colonized in the past. Two... Colonies are not used more and are abandoned, so five stars would be more correct. You haven't allowed me to get you out photographs, which would be very useful to demonstrate its real existence and truth of this story. It can be described in detail. I know it would be useful to demonstrate the authenticity of this interview if you, you can take some pictures of me. On the other hand, humans are very skeptics. This is good for us and for extraterrestrial species that they secretly act on this planet. And even when you take such away from me photographs, many of his kind would say that they are a fraud, that I am only a mask human woman or something like that would be very offensive to me. Is Seth to have can you you suck in his hand that I can't give you permission to take pictures of me or for my team. This is several reasons that I don't want to argue with you. One is to keep the secret of our existence. Another reason is more religious. However, you have permission to draw pictures of my gaze and me team that I can show you later. I can also try to describe myself, but I doubt that others of his type could imagine my real look because the automatic rejection of the existence of reptilian and generally other smart ways, is part of the programming your mind. All right, I will try to describe myself. Imagine the body from a normal human woman, and you have a good imagination of my body. As you, I have a head, two arms, two hands, two legs, and two feet, and the proportions of my body are equal to yours. As a female, I also have two breasts, and um, despite our origin reptile, we have started to give milk to our babies during the evolution process. This happened around 30 million years ago because this is the best way to preserve the young man alive. Evolution already had developed this for his species in the age of dinosaurs and uh, a little late. Also for us, this does not mean that we are now true mammals, but the rest of us are not that big like those of the human woman and the size of these are generally the same for every female of my kind. 
Mm -hmm. The organs of external playback are for both sexes smaller than those of human, but they are visible and have the same function as those of you and other gift of evolution to our species. My skin is mainly of a cream green color. We're pulling a pale green. And we have some models of brown spot irregularities, each point the size of one, two centimeters in our skin and on our face. The models are different for both sexes, but females have more, especially in the lower part of the body and in the face. She said them, like Mikay's, two lines above the eyebrows that cross my forehead, my cheek, and my chin. Uh, my eyes are a little more great than humans. For this reason, we can see better in the darkness and usually large pupils black, surrounded by a lily light, small green. Males they have, a dark green lily. They say, you pupil it is very fragile and can change its size from a small black line to an oval shaped like an open egg because our retina is very sensitive to light and the pupil must bear this. We have outer round ears, but they are more small and not as curved as yours. But we can hear better because our ears are more sensitive to sound. We can also hear a sonic range more above ears that can close them completely, for example, underwater. Our nose is more pointed and curved, V-shaped between holes nasal that enabled the ancestors to feel the temperature. We have lost most of its skill, but we can still feel much better the temperature with this organ. Our lips are like yours. Those of the females a little more large than those of males, but of a pale brown color and ours teeth are very white and strong and a slightly longer and more pointed than their soft Malmian teeth. We do not have no different hair color than you, but there is a tradition of having different hair colors according to different ages. And the original color is, I like it, a chestnut greenish. Our hairs are then thicker and stronger than yours, and they grow very slow. Also, the head is the only part of our body where we have hair. Body, arms and legs are similar in shape and long, but the color is different green cream, like the face and are staggered, like leg structures, upper the knee and upper arms above the elbow. Our five fingers are a little more small and fine than human fingers, and our skin in the palm is smooth. Now, we have no line. Like you, uh, 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 both sexes have the points in the palm, and we have no footprint digital like you. If it touches my skin, you will feel that it is smoother than your skin, Harry. There are small, sharp horns on top of both fingers of the medium. Nails are gray and generally much longer than those of you. See that my nails are not so long and round at the top. This is because I am female. Boys have sharp pointed nails with a long, sometimes five or six of its centimeters. The next trait is very different from your body and part of our reptilian origin. If you touch the top of your back, you will feel a hard bone line from my body through my clothes. This is not me thorn, it's a disc structure external formed of skin and tissue that follow our thorn exactly from the head to hip. There is a high number of nerves and large blood vessels in this structure and on the discs what have about two or three centimeters long and very sensitive to contact. And this is why we always have trouble sitting in chairs with backrest. The task main of these small dishes in addition to a role in our sexuality is simply regulation of our body temperature. And if we sit in the sunlight natural or artificial, these dishes are filled more with blood and the glasses they put wider. So the sun can warm our repilnopsilium blood, uh, what circulates through the body and um, uh, through the dishes in various degrees, and that gives us great pleasure. <sighs> what else is it different from your type? Um, we don't – we have no navel because we are born in a different way than is birth mammal. The other differences, exteriors of its kind are minor, and I think I shouldn't mention all now because most of them are not visible if we wear clothes. I hope the description of my body has been detailed. I advise you have you make some drawings. Question. What kind of clothes do you wear generally? I guess this is not the way you dress normally. No, I wear these clothes when I am among humans. To be honest, no. It is very comfortable for me to carry such things firm, and it's always a very feeling rare. If we are in our own house, 
this means in our underground house or in our areas of the sun, large artificial. And if we, we find along with other men from our own race, we are normally naked. Is this shocking for you? When we are in public and together with many others of my kind, we wear very wide and soft clothes made of thin, lightweight material. As I've already said, many parts of our bodies, they are very sensitive to contact, mainly small discs of behind that make us uncomfortable with firm clothes because it can hurt us. The woman uses often the same type of clothing as the man, but the colors are different for the sexes. You say others close to their own name? You mean any of his own family? Answer. No, not really. You would call him family, but with this word, he means only those of his class, which are integrated genetically like a father, mother, or son. I said before that we, we have a very difficult and unique name. Part of the pronunciation of that name, it is absolutely unique, and there's no another being with the same name. Um, but part of this name is, part of this name, half is pronounced in a way that tells others to which family should I use this word because you don't have the right one in your vocabulary you belong. This is not means everyone in that group genetically relate to one, why this group is usually very large and contains between 40 and 70 of us. East group generally includes their genetic relationships, except one of they who have decided to leave this group. And his connection to father and mother is often the strongest. It, it would be too much difficult for me to explain now our old social system, which is very complex as we would need many hours for primary things. Maybe we can meet at another time and I can give you the descriptions detailed of all these things. Do you have a tail like reptiles normal? Do you see one? No, we don't have no visible cue. If you look at our skeleton, there's only one rounded bone small at the end of our thorn behind the pelvis. This is a useless rudiment of the tail of our ancestors, but not visible to the exterior. Our embryos have tails during the first months of development, but these tails disappear before they are born. The tail is made only for a primitive species trying to walk on two legs, and you should keep balance with tail. But our skeleton has changed during evolution, and our thorn, it's almost the same way as you. So we don't need tail to stay upright. You said you were born one way different from us. Do you put eggs? Yes, but not like your birds or reptiles primitive. Actually, the embryo grows in a protein fluid inside the uterus of mothers, also shaped like egg, but with a chalk shell very thin around him. That fills the whole uterus. The embryo inside this shell is completely isolated from mother's body and has every substance you need to develop within the shell of this chalk. There is also a cord, like your navel cord, which connects to a hidden point from behind. When the baby is going to be born, the whole egg is squeezed through the vagina, covered in a viscous protein substance, and the baby gently comes out behind the egg after a few minutes. These two horns between our fingers are used instinctively for babies to penetrate, break the chalk, and take your first breath. What is your body temperature? You said you enjoy when you wear in the sun. What effect does this have on your organism? We are not a mammal, and like reptiles, our body temperature, it depends on the temperature around us. If you touch my hand, you may feel that this one is colder than yours because our normal body temperature, it's around 30 to 33 degrees Celsius. If we sit in the sun, especially naked, and with our back to the sun, the temperature of the body can rise from 8 to 9 degrees in minutes. This uprising causes a production of many enzymes and hormones in our body, our heart and brain, and every organ gets more active and makes us feel great. The humans only enjoy being in the sun, but for us, it is the most pleasure great. You can imagine maybe like your sexual arousal. Also, we enjoy swimming in hot water or other liquids to upload our body temperature. If we are at shade for a few hours, our temperature drops to 30 or 33 degrees. This doesn't hurt us, but we are much better in the sun. We have rooms, artificial sunshine underground, but this is not the same as being in the sun reel. Mm -hmm. If we are at shade for a few hours, our temperature drops to 30 or 33 degrees. This doesn't hurt us, but we are much better in the sun. What does it feed on? Generally of the same things as you like. Meat, fruits, vegetables, some types of special fungi from underground farms and other things. We can also eat and digest some substances that are poisonous to you. The main difference between you and us 
is that we, we must eat meat because our body needs protein. U.S., we cannot live completely vegetarian like you because our digestion would stop working and we would die after a few weeks or maybe months without meat. Many of we eat raw meats or other things that disgust you. Personally, I prefer meat cooked in surface fruits like apples or oranges. Can you tell me something about the natural history and evolution of its species? How old is your species? Have you evolved from reptiles primitive as humanity has evolved from monkeys? Oh, this is a very long story and complex and um, will certainly seem amazing, but it's the truth. Me, I will try to explain it for short. Around 65 million years ago, many of our ancestors of the involved dinosaur race, they died in a great global cataclysm. The reason for this destruction was not a natural disaster. The impact of uh, asteroid, as its scientists believe falsely, but a war between two enemy alien groups that took place mainly in the orbit and the high atmosphere of its planet. According to our limited knowledge, approximately the first days of this global war was the first extraterrestrial war in the planet Earth, but not definitely the last uh, future war is about come, while a cold war, like you call it, among the groups of aliens has been giving the last 73 years on your planet. These the opponents of 65 million years ago, that old war were two species, advanced aliens whose names, they're not again pronounceable for their languages. I am able to say them, but it would hurt his ear if I told him original names. One race was humanoid as its species, but very much older and was from this universe, from a solar system in the constellation of the star you call Procyon. The another species of which we do not, we know so much. It was a reptilian species, but they have nothing to do with our own species because we have evolved from the Seri here without external influence, except the subsequent manipulation of our own genes by ourselves. The advanced reptile species did not come from this universe. Well, how did it come explaining to you? Your scientists really, they don't see the true nature of universe because your illogical mind does not, you can see things easier and they trust the wrong math and numbers. This is part of the genetic programming of its kind to which I will speak to later. I allow myself to say that you are far from understanding the universe as it was 500 years ago. For use a term you understand. The other species did not come from this universe but from another bubble in the foam of the universe you would call it another dimension, maybe, but this is not the correct word to describe it properly. By the way, the term dimension is wrong in the way that you generally understand. The deck that you must remember, these advanced species are capable of walk through the bubbles for use of what you would call technology of the quantum. And sometimes in ways special, just for the use of your mind that my own species had also developed mental skills compared to its species, but we... We can't do the matter string bubble that changes without technology, but others active species on this planet are able to do this. Going back to our own story, the first species of humanoids had reached Earth around 150 years before the reptiloids and then built some colonies in the previous continents. There was a large colony on the continent they call Antarctica today and another in the continent that you call Asia. These people lived together with animals like saurians on the planet, no problem. When the species of advanced reptiloids reached this system. The humanoid settlers of Procyon tried to communicate peacefully, but they did not have success, and a global war started in months. You must understand that both species were not interested in this young planet for its biology and the underdeveloped species, but only for one reason, raw material, especially copper. To understand this reason, you, you should know that copper is a material very important for some species advanced, the same as today, because it is, is, the, is it together with some materials unstable, capable of producing new stable elements. If you induce a high electromagnetic field at the angle straight with a nuclear radiation field high, produces a higher field fluctuating. Copper fusion with other elements, similar to a camera magnetic radiation field, can produce a force field of special nature that is very useful for the various technological tasks. Um, but the basis for this is an extreme formula, very complex, that you can't discover 
due to restrictions on your simple mind. They say they wanted to have the copper of the planet Earth, and for this reason they fought in a very long war in space and orbit. Humanoid species seemed to be successful during the first part, but in one last battle, the reptiloids decided to use a weapon highly experimental, a special type fusion bomb, a be destroyed life forms on the planet. But no must damage valuable materials raw and copper. The bomb went off from space and detonated at one point from your planet that you call today Central America. When it detonated in the ocean, produced an unpredictable fusion with hydrogen, and the effect was then much stronger than reptiloids weighted. Radiation deadly, a superfusion production of oxygen produced by falling a winter nuclear almost 200 years old. Most of the humanoids were eliminated and the reptiloids lost their interest in the planet after a few years. The reasons are unknown even for we may be due to the radiation. Planet Earth came out, go ahead by yourself again. Is to purpose for a bomb result of fusion when falling from the outside different elements and materials created in the burning process. One of these materials was iridium. Your scientists, humans today, see the concentration of iridium on Earth as evidence from an asteroid impact that killed the dinosaurs. Isn't that true? But how are you going to know this? But how are you, you going to know this? But how are you going to know this? Well, most of the dinosaurs died, um, died all in the detonation. But yes, with the consequences that came after the war, especially in the winter nuclear. And so all dinosaurs and reptiloids were dead in a span of 20 of his years. Some of the, especially those in the oceans, they could survive the same for the next 200 to 300 years with these changes. But these species, they also died because the weather had changed. Nuclear winter is over after 200 years. But I was then colder on Earth than before. Despite the cataclysm, some species were able to survive like sharks, um, birds, mammals that produce small chills, their ancestors, Darius reptiles like the crocodile. And there was a special type of small dinosaurs, but advanced that had developed in conjunction with the latest great animal reptile, like the species that you call Tyrannosaurus. This new reptile walked on two legs and looked like the reconstruction of an iguanodon. They see originated in this family, but was smallest like around 150 meters height with some humanoid features, a changed bone structure, a bigger skull and head, one hand with a thumb that could grab things, a different organism and digestion, eyes advanced in the middle of the head and its eyes, important as a new and better brain structure. This was our direct ancestor. There are theories that radiation from the bomb took part in the mutations of the organism of this new case, but this is not proven. Oh, however, this little humanoid-like evolved dinosaur passed during the next 30 million years of an animal to a more or less thinking being, as I said before, a species generally needs more time to develop, as you think, if the evolution is not artificial-induced, as in your case. These beings were quite smart not to die in next million years because they, they learned to change their behavior. Instead, they lived in caves in the cold nature and learned to use stones and branches as first tools. And the use of fire has helped to warm them up, especially for warm your blood, which is very important for the survival of our type. Over the next 20 millions of years, this species was divided through nature in 27 subaltern subspecies. Unfortunately, reptilian species earlier were prone to divide in more or less illogical ways in the subaltern species during the process of evolution. Well, the nature was not very friendly for us. And we have known for a long time that the 27 subaltern species, 24 have extinct in primitive wars and in evolution because they did not develop your organisms and mind enough to survive. And the main reason they couldn't change the temperature of your blood the right way in, in case the weather changed. 50 millions of years after the war and after the end of the dinosaurs, only three of the reptile species advanced were staying in this planet along with all the others lower animals. Through the crossing natural and artificial, these three species joined in one species reptile through the invention of genetic manipulation since we were able to remove genes and divide pronos into our genetic makeup. According our history and belief, um, this was the time when our final reptile race, as you see me today, was created for 
the use of genetic engineering. This, it was 10 million years ago, and ours evolution stopped almost at this point. Well, there were really some changes, minors, in our gaze towards him, humanoid and mammal, as appearance during the next ages. But we have not divided again in subaltern species. You see, we are a very old race compared to his, who was jumping like a little monkey in the trees while we were inventing technology, colonizing others' planets of this system. Ten million ago, years old little apes started to grow up and they got off the trees to Earth again due to change of the weather, especially in what you they call the African continent. But they evolved very slowly which is normal for a mammal. And if nothing extraordinary would have happened to his race, we wouldn't be sitting here talking because I would be sitting in my modern and comfortable house while you would be in your cave, dressed with skin and trying to discover the secrets of fire, or you may know our park zoos, similar to yours. But things developed in a way different, and you think that now you are the crown of creation and can sit in the modern house in us we must hide and live under the land and in remote areas. Around 1.5 million years ago, others, foreign species, reached the Earth, was surprisingly the first species in over 60 million years. And it would be more surprising to you if you know how many are the different species that are here today. Interest of this humanoid species that I called by you, Elegium, was not the material crude and copper to our amazement, it was the underdeveloped monohumanoid. Despite our presence in this planet, aliens decided help monkeys to evolve quickly to serve you in the future like some kind of slave race in next wars. The fate of his species was not very important for us, but we did not like it, the presence of the Elegium in our planet, and neither do ours on its new galactic zoo. The planet and its sixth and seventh creation was the reason for a war between us and them. You can read, for example, partly about that war in the book, what you call Bibling, a way his description is very strange. The truth real is a very long story and hard. Do you want me to tell you? No, not now. Made some notes on his story, and now I have some questions. Please ask. First of all, you handle yourself with a very large time scale. He says that their primitive ancestors lived along with dinosaurs which they survived, what you called it, the artificial cataclysm and evolved to go over 40 million years, and then its development was completed 10 years ago, millions of years. This seems to me something amazing to me. Can you say something about this? I understand what it must seem completely amazing to you because he is young and of race genetically designed. Your horizon historical ends in a scale of only a few thousand years, and you think that this is correct, but it is not. This is impossible. Your programmed mind cannot obviously dealing with such scales of great times. Our time of evolution may seem incredibly long, but these are the ways original of nature. Remember that their mammal ancestors developed together with dinosaurs and they survived the bomb like us. They evolved slowly over the next million years and they, they were, mammals evolved subsequently let us say 150 millions of years, but only in the last two, three million years were capable of thinking intelligently. And within this little period, beings, little ones like you were created. Naturally, 148 million years to evolve an animal like monkeys <laughs> and only two million years old approximately for development of intelligent beings like you. Ask him, do you really think that this accelerated evolution is natural? So your species is more ignorant of what I thought. We were evolving, but you don't. I understand, but I have another question. You mentioned many facts 65 ago, millions of years on the old war among aliens. This happened a long time since your race was very smart, as far as I have understood. Why do you know so many things about that first war and about the evolution of its species? This is a good question, much better, that the previous one... Uh, explained it appropriately. Our knowledge about the first war comes completely from an ancient artifact that was found 16,000 of his years ago by our archaeologists in the continent that today you call North America. They found there a round plate with a diameter of approximately 47 of its centimeters. The plate was made of a material 
unknown magnetic even for us. And inside the plate, there was another glass plate smaller than contained a huge amount of information encoded in the, the structure crystal molecular. This memory of the plate was made 65 million ago of years with the last survivors of the bomb of the human race of Procyon, but it was completely intact when we find it. Our scientists were able to code the messages and data from what we hear talk for the first time about events that took place in the distant past and what led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. The plate contained detailed descriptions of both species that more about humanoids and about events and weapons, including the fusion bomb. It also contained a description of animals and saurians in the earth, including our species of pre-intelligent ancestors. The rest of our knowledge about our evolution comes from skeletons and the hidden part of the encrypted reading of our DNA. You see that we know the truth about our roots for 16,000 years. Before that time, there was one more idea religious of our creation. There was one more idea religious of our creation. There was one more idea religious of our creation. What happened to both species, foreign? We don't know exactly. The surviving humanoids on Earth obviously died over the years after the bomb and others of its kind, and the reptilians never returned to the Earth as far as we know. About extraterrestrial reptiles, there is a possibility that it was physically impossible for them to come back because matter between bubbles is sometimes in fast movement. The current theory is that both species would have ceased to exist during the millions of years that passed. You mentioned skeletons of your type. How can they be? And scientists, humans never found any trace of you and your ancestors have really lived during such time on this planet. We have found many skeletons of primitive dinosaurs, but none of an advanced reptile being with one more skull big brain and a hand with a finger thumb, as you described before. Yes, you have. But his great scientists could not rebuild completely the skeletons because they wanted to rebuild animals, reptiles, not intelligent beings. I know I would laugh if I knew how many, especially small, of the Saurian skeletons in its museums are totally constructions evil of beings that never existed because many bones were used that they were never really together. And sometimes they made artificial bones if something was missing and necessary for build a sorry animal. Many of you scientists are aware of this problem, but they don't public because they can't explain it. And they say the bone is correct, simply disappeared in its reconstruction. Many were used bones of us for reconstructions of the iguanodon. By example, hands with thumb visible look at an iguanodon in a museum, and you will see that it is so. Some scientists in, in the country that you, they call the United States, they had figures a few years ago, uh, skeleton, almost correct, of our kind. But the local government, which is partly aware of our existence, confiscated the reconstruction. As we live today, and from thousands of years, almost completely underground, you will not find corpse or skeletons of us. Sometimes he talks about cities underground and sunlight artificial. Tell me what you mean, something like a hollow earth with this. Is there a second sun within this planet? No, the earth is not completely hollow and there is no second sun inside. That story is ridiculous and physically impossible. Even its species is smart enough not to believe this. Do you know how much mass you should have a sun to produce light and energy for a long time? Do you think really there could be a sun, sun, small asset within the planet? When I talk about our house underground, I talk about systems of large caves. You see, Chavis Jansis cut them from the year. The Keynes and Crees get near the surface are tiny compared to caves real, and the big caves more deep in the ground in the depth of 2,000 to 8,000 of his meters. Connected to many tunnels hidden from the surface. Us, we live in big cities and advanced underground colonies. The, our biggest sites are beyond Arctic, Antarctic, Inner Asia, North America, and Australia. If I, I talk about artificial sunlight in our cities, does not mean a sun real, but if multiple sources light technology, including sources gravitational, what cave lights up in tunnels? There are cave area specials and tunnels with a strong UV on in every city, and us, we use that to warm our blood. Further, we also have some places where the sun rises on the surface in remote areas, especially in America and Australia.
Where can we find similar surface entries close to your world? Do you really think that I will tell you your exact location? If you want to find such an entrance, you have to investigate it by yourself. But I, I would advise not to. When I came four days ago to the surface, I used an entrance approximately 300 of its kilometers to north of here near a large lake. But I doubt you could find it. There are only a few more entries in this part of the world and our northeast. Like a little one tip. If you are in a cave narrow or in a tunnel or even in something that looks like a mine shaft artificial and as more deeply you walk and the smoother the walls appear and if you feel rare hot air pouring from the depth or if you hear the sound of an air fan in a ventilator or well, then look for a special type artificial and smooth wall in some part of the cave with a door made gray metal. If you could open that door, but I doubt this you, I'd be in a technical room normally round with ventilation systems and elevators to depth. This is probably an entrance to our world. If you have reached this point, you should know that we are in that definitely conscious moment of his presence. It's already in a big problem if you have entered the room round, but you should look for one of the two reptilian symbols on the walls. If not, there are no symbols or other symbols. You may be in one more problem big because not always every underground facility belongs to our type. In some new systems tunnels operate foreign races, creating hostile races. My advice, General, is that if you are in one of these underground facilities, strange run away as fast as can. You mentioned before that you use the name Lacerta when she is among humans and what you enjoy for being in the sun real on the surface of the earth. But how can you be among the humans? You are not like us. Anyone who saw him has you would know that it belongs to another species. Why is no one seen and described to a being like you if those of his class live from our creation together with us on the same planet? Can you explain that to me? First, my type was seen, of course, and, and was described and worshipped to many times in its primitive past. By example, in your religious scriptures, like the Christian Bible, can find descriptions and even simple drawings of us also in the southern part of the continent American in various temples. The call out of the Anandia Mountains have described our species many times in their scriptures along with other men wise from the African continent. Uh, me, I think we are in the majority non-human species, um, perhaps next to the Isla Gem in its history. If you don't believe, take a look at your story and you will see the truth in my words. There are big scientists called the belief in an, a superstition and religion, and today human smart have forgotten our presence on the surface in the past. Also, our species is seen even today for the testimonies that humans give in their original form in the land or at our entrances at the surface close to systems tunnels. But luckily, you and their media take the reports like crazy serious few. This is good for us, and it is the reason why we allow those people see us. Some of my kind, they are also in direct contact with human and political scientists of the surface. But it is top secret, and no one in your audience knows anything about it. The theme of these meetings generally are the next war with and between foreign species and our help in this war. But there's also another explanation why we can walk among you and why you they cannot recognize us. Imitation. The following can look amazing again and even scare him. I've told you before that we have mental abilities more advanced than its species. We can use what you call telepathy and telekinesis. From our birth here, in fact, the mother and the newborn child generally communicate with telepathy during first month's no training special while you need training to activate these parts sleepers in your brain. But the structure of our brain is a little different yours and our pituitary then is bigger and more active than yours, especially when we are in the sunlight. When we are in the surface and we find a human, even a large group of them, this doesn't matter, all their minds are as united, we are able to touch his mind and we induce telepathic with the order, see us as one of your kind and mind weak human will accept this order without rejection and they will see us uh, despite our reptilian gaze as humans normal. Um, in fact, many times you weak humans generally see me like a brown hair woman attractive because I have 
created this image of imitation special make several years on my mind, and I can induce it in their minds without problem. I needed some time at first to learn the use of imitation correctly, but then it works almost automatically, and I can even walk between a group of yours, and nobody will recognize what I am. There is a single switch see us when we really want. So yes, when we want you to see in your consciousness that you put there from the Ela Y gem when they created your type, and we can activate this switch to convince you that you see humans when you look at us. Um, other outsiders use this switch. Also, it is easier than you think. When there are meetings between of its kind and aliens that look like look like you, these aliens have used that switch, and some of the meetings with men like they were aliens can also explain how meetings with my type. The first time he also saw me as a normal human woman, and I remember that he he was very scared and scared when I revealed it to my real appearance. Do you mean that you really can make me believe that I speak now with a long, brown-haired human woman, attractive human woman, attractive instead of a reptilian being? Probably, but I don't think in his special case. When someone expects to see a human woman instead of me, me, I can do it without problems with your mind, even with large groups, because no one expects to see a reptilian woman. But I've allowed your mind to see me in my original appearance in our first meeting, and I have never induced something in your mind. So you already have understood that I am not human. If I, I would try to change this now, there would be probably led to confusion, absolute, or unconsciousness. And I don't, I want to harm it. I already said no, I am very good at these things. I am very scared. Can you kill with those skills? Yes, but it is um, prohibited. This is not means it was not done in times. Do both sexes have these skills? Yes. Um, what about the pictures? How do you appear in photographs? This is a silly question. I appear in photographs as a reptilian being because... I have no influence on the photograph or on camera itself, but only in the minds of photographers. Yes. He or she reveals the movie and they will show the photograph to others. They, they would see me in my original form. This is the reason why it is prohibited to our type to be filmed or to be photographed. And we must avoid every camera on the surface. Eh? That's very difficult. And sometimes we have been filmed in the past without our knowledge about all for some of their governments and secret agencies. What other orders can your type induce in our minds? Something like us, serve or obey? This is, again, a strange question. We are not your enemies, though most of us don't want for. And why we must do this. To answer your question depends on the strange human mind and the strange of what was sent by the reptile. There is no, no, I serve or it serves me in the switch on your mind. So you drive in this order. It's much more difficult to induce. If the human mind and the consciousness are weak and the reptiloid is experienced to uh, induce these things, then I could probably run for a certain time. There is secret teachings on such things, but I never learned anything about it. Me, I use my primary skills for imitation and for communication with me on type and um, sometimes for other things private, but I never use it to harm humans or their minds. Me, I'd rather if we can end this theme. One last question. Did you say before that can you hide your UFOs? Do you use these skills to do it? Yes, but on a technical basis, there is a powerful device within each skill that can send you a sign artificial to their minds to convince him that you see anything or nothing more than heaven or that you see a normal plane instead of our ships. This is not used frequently because we avoid the human public when we enter the atmosphere. Yes, you can see our ovenness means that the device has some defect or was out of operation for some reason. The camouflage effect does not work in photographs. For now, answer this possible in advance, you ask. But why someone you must take a picture of the sky when he can't see anything weird? To purpose, most points of the entrance to the surface near our tunnels are also hidden with such a device. And it's typed generally, you will see only normal caves and walls instead of the door. This is one of the reasons why I tell you that I doubt you can find some entrance to our world. Um, sometimes past a teacher. A question back on ours and its own story. You mentioned the race of the Illogym who have created our human race. 
Where did they come from and how were they? What exactly had happened when they arrived? Are they our God? The Ilogim came from this universe, from the solar system that you call Aldebaran on their maps. They were very high humanoid species. The normally blonde hair and very skin, Whitey avoided sunlight because damaged his skin and eyes. And this was completely amazing for a species who loves the sun like ours. They seemed to be smart at first and peaceful, and we started friendly communication with them. But then they showed their intentions and real plans. They wanted to develop a new one in monkeys cast. And we were a factor that disturbed them on their new planet from zoo. At first, they took around 10,000 or maybe even 20,000 of his ancestors apes and took them from the planet for a few hundred years. When they came back, they brought their ancestors, uh, now more humans, a back. Then they left Earth again for some thousands of years, and pre-humans, primitives lived together with us, no major problems. They only had fear of our ships and technology. The yellow Jim took his mind and reinforced his brain and the, the structure of your body, and they put them to use tools and fire. Returned to 23,000 years seven times, an accelerated speed of the evolution of some of its type. You must understand that is not the first human civilization in the planet. The first advanced humans who lived at the same time with less developed prehumans, with which the Illo had experienced with different speeds and phases of evolution with technology and discourse existed 700,000 years ago around on this planet. Your scientists don't understand this because they only found the bones of prehumans and some drawings of the primitive caves that show advanced humans and flying devices. This human race, genetically advanced, lived along with us, but they avoided contact with my type because the yellow gym teachers had warned them with deceptive purpose, that we are bad beings. Teachers had warned them with deceptive purpose, that we are bad beings. Well, after some centuries, aliens, they decided to destroy they're first created and accelerated. And so successively, the evolution of a second race best. The truth is that his modern human civilization is not the first on this earth, but the seventh. At their, the buildings of the first races, they are lost, but the fifth civilization was the builder of Egyptian pyramids. He raced 75,000 of their years, and his Egyptians barely found those big, ancient pyramids in the sand and tried unsuccessfully to do similar constructions. And the sixth civilization was the one built ago, 16,000 years, the ruined cities that you can find today under the sea in the Bimini area. The latest creation of the seventh race from his series was made just 8,500 years ago. And this is the only creation you can remember now that his religious scriptures describe. Your society trusts the archaeology and artifacts that find the paleontology that show a wrong short past, but you don't know anything about six previous civilizations. What if you find evidence of your existence, deny it, and misinterpret the facts? This is partly for one programming your mind and partly pure ignorance. I will only tell you the following about his creations because six previous humanities are lost and therefore they should not involve him. There was a long war between us and the Illogem, and also among certain groups of the Illogem, because many of them were of the opinion that, again, the creation of human species in this planet made no real sense. The last battles in this war are they fought 5,000 years ago around in the orbit and surface. The aliens used sonic weapons powerful to destroy our underground cities. But on the other side, we could destroy many of its surface facilities and bases in space. The humans of his class were very scared when they, they watched our battles and took in the form of religious myths you mind, couldn't understand what really passed. They, the Illogium that appeared as gods for the sixth and seventh races told them it was a war between the good and the bad and that they, they were the good ones and we were the bad race. This certainly depends on the point of view. It's, it was our planet. Before they will arrive and before they, they will start their project of evolution with his type. In my opinion, it was ours right to fight for our planet. It was exactly four years ago. 943 years, according your time scale, than the Elogian. Left the planet again for reasons unknown. This is a very important to us because many of our historians called it a victory. The fact is that we 
we don't know what really was past. The Illogim left a day to day. They disappeared without a trail along with their ships and us. We find most of his surface facilities destroyed by them. Humans were yours of your own development. Many of us were in contact with certain tribes of their species more than Sir in the following centuries, and we were able to convince some of them that we are not the bad. That was what the Illogim wanted them, they will believe. During time 4,900 years today, many others foreign species came to this planet. Some of them used old teachings and programmed his mind and played again to be God to you, but the Illogim never came back. They had also left the planet for a duration of about a thousand years earlier for us to wait his return someday in the future to finish your project or maybe to also eliminate the seventh race. But we don't really know what has passed to them to answer this ask in advance. Your current civilization knows nothing about its real um, origin, about its real past, about their real world and the universe, and they know very little about us and our past. And you don't know anything about the things that they will come. If you don't understand and believe in what that I tell him that it is the truth, because we are not your enemies inside for a time your species will be in danger. Your enemies are already here and you don't understand it. Open your eyes or they will be in big trouble soon. If you haven't believed anything about the things you I said before, then should I really believe and remember this? Why do you think I don't believe it? I have a certain feeling that you don't believe me despite this. I, I am here in front of you. All that I have told you in the last two hours is the absolute truth about us world. How many foreign species are there active on Earth at the moment? As far as we know, 14 species, 11 from this universe, two from another bubble, and one well ahead of a plane, very different. Do not ask me names because almost all are not pronounceable for you. Eight of them, they are not pronounceable equal for U.S. Most theses, especially the most advanced, are studying them as simple animals, and they're not very dangerous to you and for us. We work along with some of them, but three species are hostile. Even the one was in contact with some of his governments and exchanged their technology for copper and other important things and what would have betrayed their type. There is a cold war between two of these hostile races for the past 73 years old. And the third species um, seem to be the winner in this useless struggle. We expect one more war hot between them. And you, in a near future, I would say in the next 10 or 20 years, and we are distressed about that development. The last time there were some rumors about a new 15 species that had only arrived three or four years ago at the land, but we don't know anything about his intentions and we weren't in contact with them. Maybe the rumors be wrong. What do foreign races want hostile? Various raw materials, including copper for your technology, your water, or better, the hydrogen in your water, which is a source of energy in the advanced process of, of fusion and certain chemical elements in its air. Also, two of the species, they are also interested in his body, in his human tissue and blood, because his own genetic structure is every time most faulty through bad evolution and radiation, as far as we know, and... They need intact laces of its kind and animals to repair their own genetic cords again and again since they cannot repair their effects completely because the DNA of them and yours is not totally compatible. My own species is completely incompatible with them. That's why they are not very interested in us and try to make castes most compatible crusades between you and them for fertilization use artificial and artificial wombs. We assume that the next war between the three races or between you and one or all of them will be for the material crude hydrogen, air, and DNA. -a. Is this the cause of the raptos? Partly, especially when outsiders take sperm from you. To times abductees belong to others more advanced races who just want to study your body and mind. What it is more interesting for some of them that your solid body, as if you study a primitive animal. When I mentioned that three species aliens are hostile, means they don't 
care or his destiny nor his life, not even the people. If someone reports uh, abduction, means in my opinion that he or she has not encountered one of the aggressive species or that he or she is a human very lucky to be alive. Advanced friendly races have also sometimes taken sperm from tribe, but for other reasons. You said there are only 14 species active on Earth, but why have people described so many typologies different? I think I have already answered this ask when I told you most of foreign races has much more advanced mental abilities than yours and even mine there. There is simply alien race completely without such abilities. They can appear in your mind and memory like anything. They, they induce what they want. Their image does not has nothing to do with his appearance real. You remember them as humans, normal or gray dwarfs or extremely equal to animals rare because they want you remember what – Sometimes they want that you forget something that there has happened in a meeting with them. Other example, you can remember by example that was right in one of his human hospitals and that some doctors were examining you and you didn't think beyond what has happened to you maybe until you find out that you don't – there's no hospital on the street. But supposed – but in fact it was examined for them in one of their laboratories. No, trust your mind in this case. They appear in different ways than you to confuse you. Trust me, there are only 14 extraterrestrial species on this planet and only eight kidnap humans for him moment. Back to where we are, we know. Also, not all abducted are such since many imagine or lie. How can we protect ourselves against this influence on our mind? I do not know. I doubt you can defend yourself because your mind is like a, a open book to read and write for almost all the species that I know. This is partly guilty, the elogium, because they had built in part intentionally your mind and your awareness without the mechanisms of real protections. If you are aware that someone is trying to manipulate your mind, you can only focus on that suspicion and can try to analyze each of your thoughts and memories very important. Do not close your eyes. It should be easier for access your brain and or lie down or sit down to rest. If you stays awake for the first minutes, you can try to leak of thoughts and waves in your brain. Maybe the inducers or will perform after a few minutes if he or she is not accessible because they will start hurting brain. This is very difficult and certainly painful and can harm it. The best thing is try not to resist, but it would be the only chance you have. What do you mean by one species comes from a very plain different? Before I can explain correctly to you, it must be able to understand the universe and this maybe it would mean teaching him things useless in your mind, even take away some barriers, which would take many weeks, and I should teach you not just with words. I have told you this at your level of understanding being because you have no better word on his vocabulary and the word dimension would be in this case completely wrong is bad enough even for another bubble because one dimension cannot exist without a flat. If you were a species that lives on another flat or above, what if I could also enter planes without technology? That is mentally, then you would be the most powerful being that can imagine. This highly advanced breed that I mentioned would have developed out of here and evolved during billions of years. They could destroy all of you and us and all with a just thought. We were in contact with them only three times in our entire story because its interest on your planet is different from that of all other races. They are not definitely dangerous to you and U.S. What will happen when the war starts? This is difficult to answer. Depends on the enemy race and its tactics. The war is not always that thing primitive that humans mean with that word. War can be fought on various levels. A possibility that they have is the destruction of their social system through influence on political leaders. Another is the use of advanced weapon systems that can cause earthquakes or eruptions of volcanoes or other disasters, even the weather disasters, what can seem natural to you. The special copper fusion fields that I mentioned before, they can have a influence your global time. Me, I think they will not attack the planet directly before the human civilization be weakened because even you have chances of destroying your skills, but not many. I would like to say that uh, we are not completely sure if there really will be a war similar in the coming years. This is the end of the interview. Do you want to say one last sentence or message? Open your eyes and see. Don't, don't 
just believe in your wrong story or in your scientists or its military. Um, some of them know the truth about various things, but they do not inform the public to avoid confusion and panic. I think that your species is not as bad as some of my type think, and it would be a calamity see its end. This is all I can tell them. Carry out your life with eyes open and you will see, or maybe not. His class is... Um, do you think anyone will believe that this interview is the truth? No, but it is an interesting experiment from my social studies. We, we will find again in a few months, and then he will tell me what happened after posting my message. Maybe I have hope for those of his type.